Spencer Hawes, then their transition game is really starting to hum. 23-11, they're outscoring the Celtics fast break. Dribble drive, compromises your help defense. Lou Williams, we talked about the need for this guy, their leading scorer, to start to contribute. And anytime you're turning it over and allowing them live ball turnover number situation, that's where they're best scoring the basketball. Now they've got a little momentum, a little juice, they feel good. And Doris, how do you handle this if you're Doug Collins? Drew Holiday's been on the bench in foul trouble. He played only three minutes in the third as Petrus unties it. Do you go back to Holiday, who's your starting point guard and a player you rely heavily upon, or do you stick with the guys who brought you back? Well, you always hear that debate, and, and do you stay with those guys? It's a difficult decision for the coach to make. I mean, listen. Drew Holiday was four for seven. Now, he's not a guy who creates shots for the, the guys around him. He doesn't have a single assist, but I, I would just ride this group for now. Drew Williams out to Meeks. He'll shoot the three and knock it down. Philadelphia has the lead. It's first of the night. Foul inside, coming off the screen. Ray Allen was bumped by Meeks. That's the third team foul in Philadelphia. Second personal on Meeks, third year pro out of Kentucky, who scored 13 points in game three. Celtics have missed their last five shots from the field. We'll see where they go here. Try to get a bucket. Pierce is 7 of 11. Barnett, by the way, is 2 of 11. Meeks, good defense. Breaking up that pass attempt to Allen. How many times have you seen the Celtics late in this game just force passes that aren't there? Allen trying to catch inside camp. Turnover, Philadelphia. Both teams, both teams trying to make things happen where nothing, just make the next pass. Another turnover, Turner ahead of the pack, the slam. Three point Philadelphia lead. They were down 14 nothing. They shot 21%, make that 23% in the first half. The block by Allen. It'll stay Boston ball with 10 to shoot. They've been waiting a long time to cheer like this here for the Sixers. They were booed off the floor at the half, but it's a crowd that will appreciate effort, and that's what they're getting. Pierce got Turner in the air, drives in, scores, and a foul. 21 for Paul Pierce. He'll have a chance to tie it at the foul line. It is a stone-cold scorer right there. That breaks a four-minute and 51-second drought. And this is the guy you go to when you need a basket. The professional scorer. Shouldn't call him the truth. We should call him a heartbreaker. Because when he delivers late, man, he just kills teams with his ability to be efficient. Only the second free throw attempt of the game. He's hit a boat. We're tied at 68. That's the fourth team foul on Philadelphia. So in danger of putting Boston at the line early in the quarter, just like the third. Allen driving on Garnett. Pass at the feet of Williams. Shot clock down to five. Williams for three. There's Allen again. On the floor. Garnett dives in. Turner scoops it up. In and out. Young is there. He missed the layup. Boston ball. Rondo fools everybody. Turner thought he was going to reset. He turned on the Jets. And Boston back up two. First points of the half for Rondo, 11 in the game. Turner. Young, fouled on the way to the bucket. We'll see if they rule it a shooting foul. It's the first team foul. And it is a two-shot foul. Doc Rivers irate with the call. He thought Young was a, trying to pass. That's the third on Pierce.
Philadelphia. It looked like 30 at the line. I thought he was trying to make the pass. You see, yeah. I mean, that's clearly look. That's why Doc's so upset. That was that one home. He's three of five in the game now. WNBA action tips off Sunday on ABC. Defending WNBA champion Minnesota Lynx taking on Diana Taurasi in Phoenix. 12.30 Eastern time on ABC. Diana Taurasi early in her career, one of the great winners in women's basketball history. Three national titles, couple WNBA, couple of gold. One more free throw for Young, trying to tie it at 70. Celtics lead the series two games to one. Game five, Monday, back in Boston. Will there be a game six next Wednesday here in Philadelphia? Screen and roll, Rondo and Garnett. Travel. And Garnett walked, yep. Steps as he tried to drive an Allen a turnover. So he didn't hesitate early in the series to take that jumper. But because it's abandoned him, he tries to get by on a dribble drive and picks up the pivot foot. 16 turnovers by Boston. Remember I talked about confidence, right? It's a tenuous thing. It can abandon you in a 48-minute stretch. You didn't believe in that jumper tonight. Holiday back on the floor for Philadelphia after sitting most of the third in the first four minutes of the fourth. Good luck by Young, and Allen puts it in. Philadelphia back on top. Thirty points in the paint by Philly. They could make a shot in the paint in the first half, or anywhere else for that matter. As Garnett finally cans that long jumper, just his third field goal of the game. Oh boy, Allen, not close on that attempt. Holiday up top. Go back to Young with Pierce defending. Young muscling it up. Wanted a foul, but no whistle. Midway through the fourth, we are tied as Pierce gets Iguodala up high, drives, lost the ball, but a foul. And that is the fifth team foul, putting Boston in the penalty. It was a shooting foul anyway, as Pierce will have two. Iguodala picked up the personal just a second. Twenty-two points for Pierce after twenty-four in game three. Got another great score coming up in game two of our NBA Friday doubleheader. But you would think they'll need better than nine of twenty performance from the field that they're going to beat Oklahoma City. They're down two nothing. Derek Fisher playing his first playoff game as a visitor in Staples. I wonder what kind of reaction he'll get. Probably receptive early, and that's it. Boston back up two after the Pierce foul shots. Contact with no foul as Allen was bumped by Holiday. Young feeds Allen. Oh, what a play by Garnett. But there is Thaddeus Young to put it in. They are finally taking advantage of their source. How have the Sixers come back in this game to tie it? I said at the half that the Celtics are a better team and that if the Sixers were going to win, they'd need some help from the Celtics. The Celtics have 17 turnovers. They've given up 13 points off those turnovers. They've allowed the Sixers 25 fast break points to 13, and they put them at the free throw line. The Celtics are helping the Sixers in this basketball game. Don't forget game three, Oklahoma City and the Lakers coming up next with the Thunder on top, 2-0. Boston leads this series 2-1. It's Philadelphia ball. You got Rondo, Bradley, Allen, Pierce, and Garnett. So a smaller lineup for Boston. Lavoy Allen, Thaddeus Young, Holiday, Iguodala, and Lou Williams on the floor for the Sixers. Iguodala off the bounce, and he just cannot find it tonight. But a good play by Young. Has really given them a spark here in the fourth quarter, scoring and hustling. Allen looking for someone to pass it to. 
Shot clock down to seven. Rondo trying to chase. Williams nails the jumper. That's where those offensive rebounds kill you. Twice, okay, and that possession by the Sixers. Rondo had prevented Lou Williams from catching the ball. On the third opportunity, he finally caught it. He caught the ball and made the bucket. That's why those second chances hurt. Allen hits a three. Ray Allen has been quiet this series from behind the arc. In fact, coming into tonight in the playoffs, under 30% from three. But he buries that one in Boston on top by one. Rondo, great hands, almost got the steal on LaVoy Allen. Timers at seven. Williams. Young. Allen. And knocked out of bounds. No foul. One second to shoot for Philadelphia. A lot of contact, but no foul. Four blocks for Kevin Garnett. One second to shoot. Iguodala with a holiday and a great cut. Oh, he blew the layup. But Iguodala there to get the rebound. A great play with one second left to get that kind of a look. But another offensive rebound for Philly. That's five and a quarter. Williams, nice move. Can't knock it down. Garnett shielding Allen. Boston ball, four minutes to go, one point, Celtics lead. Rondo finds...